Welcome to MathX. In this video, we're going to do this Olympiad question. See, the first thing that may come to mind is that adding the two terms together, right? Making the first one into a fraction, and then we add two fractions, we're going to get this bigger fraction. But you see, now there's a problem. The first thing, x plus 1 squared, is going to get us x squared multiplied by another x squared is going to get x to the fourth power, okay? So this one would be really challenging to solve. So that's not good. So instead, we could think of something else. We could write the left-hand side as a perfect square, okay? If it is possible, okay, that means this, the second term over here, okay, this one should be the same and equal to this one. So this one, if we could write it as two terms and these two terms will be this, then we have a chance at writing it as a perfect square. Let's see how we could use this to write it as two terms, okay? So now, okay, how do you simplify this x over x plus one? One way would be to divide them like long division, or we could add plus one and negative one. With this, we could separate them into two terms. Okay, now we need to expand this. Okay, remember a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. We're going to just use that formula. Okay, the last term is negative 2ab. So here, what I do is not important. I'm just going to switch these two to make the next point easier to understand. Remember, at the beginning of the video, I said we want to write this as a perfect square. Okay. So the perfect square that comes to mind is x plus 1 over x plus 1 because we have these terms. So let's expand this and compare the equation in purple and this one. Okay, the green one, uh, let me add this two here. I forgot to add it. Let me add this two here. Okay, so now if the green one and the purple one are equal, then it is already a perfect square. So we have x squared, x squared here. These two are also the same. So that means these two terms together must be equal to this term. Is it really? We need to try that. Let's see if it really is. Okay. Again, you could do a long division. Okay. Or add two and then subtract it by two. See, the first one, x plus 1 plus over x plus 1 is going to be simplified. So we're going to get this. Now pay attention. Okay. So we're going to write this 2 minus 2 over x plus 1. And now, you see, these two, if they were the same, then the purple equation, this one would already be a perfect square, but you see it's not. We need two minus two over x plus one. What we have is only one. So what should we do? We add plus one to both sides of the equation. And now the purple one, the purple equation is perfect square. Okay, let's add 
plus one to both sides. And this one, we showed it like a minute ago in the video why two minus two over x plus one is this. There you go. So now this one will give us two new equations, which we could turn into quadratic equations and solve. So each of these equations are going to give us two solutions. And now I'm going to, because I'm lazy, I'm going to write the two equations as one. Right? So here, let me tell you what I did here. So this one, two and negative two, I wrote it here as one equation. And then I'm multiplying all parts, all terms by x plus one. Okay, this one becomes this. One over x plus one becomes one. And this one becomes positive negative two times x plus one again. Okay. And then 2x plus 1, it will go to the left hand side. Now this will give us two equations. One's positive. Okay. And then this one, the negative 2 times x plus 1. Okay, quadratic formula, negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So this part, okay, because this is negative, is going to be an imaginary complex solution. The last equation will give us two real solutions again. Okay, this is the two real solutions. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure you like the video.